Hi, I'm Chef Paul McGreevy, a culinary instructor here at SAIT. Hi, I'm Chef Josh Greenman. I'm an instructor here at SAIT in the Baking and Pastry Arts program. Best of luck. <laughs> Can we hug it up? <laughs> yeah, let's do that. <laughs> let's go. When I think of stampede, I think of things like barbecue, I think of bourbon, I think of cornmeal or corn dogs. So just trying to find a way to bring those all together and make one dish. Old pork stuffed cornmeal pancakes. And I'm a pastry chef, so I choose to overcomplicate things. <laughs> so we're gonna do a s'mores crepes on a stick. We're gonna make the crepe batter first off here. Then I'm gonna make a cookie butter with graham crackers. We're gonna make a chocolate mascarpone mousse. And then I'm gonna make some homemade marshmallow and torch the whole thing. Okay, ready? I love Saskatoon berries. They are my favorite, so a Saskatoon berry syrup is my go-to, yeah. Maple syrup. Just like legit, true maple syrup. There's just a little bit of bacon in this. Shallots with some uh, butter and brown sugar. And then you're gonna add a bunch of bourbon. I was a competitive barbecuer. Oh, barbecue is something I got heavily into. Kind of like I think what happens with most of us as professional culinarians, you find one thing and then we nerd out on it as much as we can. My niche is students that don't believe in themselves because I was that student. We got our creamy, dreamy cookie butter. Raring to go. Now we're going on to the sabayon. So I'm just getting a pot of water boiling for my double boiler. So a sabayon is a stirred, cooked custard. And to bump up the flavor a little bit in our chocolate mousse, I add a little bit of Grand Marnier. So egg yolk, sugar, and Grand Marnier. For crepes, it's letting the batter sit. If you don't let the batter sit, you're not gonna have a crepe, you're just gonna have a pancake again. You need to let that gluten relax again. At least an hour to two hours, preferably overnight. So make it the night before, and then it's perfect. Thing even with pancakes, I would make it and let it sit for an hour before I would cook it as well just to let everything hydrate a little bit better, figure out your consistency, you know, and then also, you know, do a test one. I always do a test one first, and then mm. play with your temperatures. Low and slow is nice, not too hot. This is a super nice one. This is my pulled pork stuffed cornmeal pancakes with a bacon, bourbon, and maple jam. My s'mores crepe on a stick. We got cookie butter, chocolate mascarpone mousse, and fresh marshmallow. The blue one. Yeah. Find the s'mores one a little too uh, sweet. Yeah, I would choose uh, blue as well. Yeah, I'm a savory guy. I like the texture of the bread and chocolate. For early in the morning, I would say I, I, I like the blue one, but as a dessert, I pretty much do like the red one. I'm a sucker for a sweet tooth, so I'm gonna say the red one. The red one. I'm a dessert guy, so it gives me that the sweetness. But that has a more complex uh, flavor, the blue one. Okay, hi. Uh, I tried both, but for the dessert, yeah. I don't know, it's a little bit sweet for us. Yeah, yeah but that one, another one is really good. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey! <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. They look incredible.